I'm here with Ms. Stoltz, who was one of the teachers that went on the fourth grade field trip. Ms. Stoltz, what do you think the kids learned on that fourth grade field trip? Well, I hope they learned a lot, Alex, but um, one of the things that we're really trying to do is to get the kids to use their Chromebooks and use technology and integrate it with science and math. And a couple of the stations had to do with measurement. They had to do with observation and inferring, um, soil observation. They had to uh, plot an area of land. And um, I guess the one big thing that I th hope they get out of it is teamwork. Um, working together as a team and, and building each other up, uh, collaborating between each other, learning from some of their mistakes, you know, because we did make some mistakes on is that an inference or is that an observation. Teamwork is a really great skill for yes, it is. kids to have these days. It is. Do you think the kids had fun? Oh my gosh, they had a ball. I kept, they kept saying, hey, can we stay till 3? Because we left at 2. Um, they wanted to stay till 3. They wanted to go back the next day. Um, even parents, I've had parents emailing me or sending me little text messages. I just had a parent in the hall, Mr. Klein, said, hey, loved it. Um, it was a good day. We had a good time. Well, I'm glad you and the students had a lot of fun. Me too. I'm hoping to go again, and we're hoping to go maybe in the spring and do some other type of um, experiments and some other uh, observations. We did have the soil and water conservationist out of Marshall County come down and talk um, to the kids. She will be coming back in November talking just about soil, and then we're going to try to have her come out and talk about little critters that are in the water. Um, and then hopefully in fifth grade, these kids will get to do an overnight there. So where'd you guys go? Okay, we went down to the Geneva Center, which is north of Rochester, right off of Old 31. Um, Geneva Center is a, um, a 235 acre of woods. Um, they have cabins, they have an Olympic sized pool, they have a conference center. So other people can use it. Uh, Boy Scouts can use it. Camp We Can for disabled, they use it. Um, our church groups, uh, Boy Scouts have used it, Girl Scouts. Um, just a great place to go. It is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have, like, you been, have you been there, I Alex? hear a lot of great mm -hmm. things coming yeah. from there, but I've yeah. never been there. Um, families can go and maybe for the day just rent the pavilion area and fish. Uh, they have paddle boats. They have canoes. They have trails. They have challenge areas. Um, just It's our own little hidden potato creek. Sounds like a lot of family fun. Yep, a lot of family fun. I'm here with Bo and Emma, who just recently went on that field trip that the fourth graders took. Why don't you guys tell me a little about the field trip? So we went to look at macroinvertebrates to tell how healthy the water is. We also, we also learned about bugs and how they, their environment is underwater. What was your favorite part about the field trip? The underwater telescopes. The underwater telescopes. That sounds really cool. What, what are the underwater telescopes? You um, stick the tip of the underwater telescope in the water and you can see all plants and animals under the water. And there's also lights, so it's better to see. Well, it sounds like you guys had a real lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I'm here with Hunter and Janelle, who also went on that fourth grade field trip. What was your, what did you guys learn from the field trip? Um, to uh, work together and never give up. What was you guys' uh, favorite part of the field trip? Um, 
the challenge course, we uh, we all um, when we got there, we all stood on a log, and uh, we had to um, get get an order of last name without talking and without falling off the log. Sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite part? The one when we looked at the animals that live on the bottom of the lake. And we, we got to look at them and put them in these little cup things. And they had a little circle and magnifying glass on top. So we could trap them in there and look at them and then we could let them go. I'm glad you guys had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming out. You're welcome.